Kowalski here. Today I'm going to be sharing Tony Rice's version of Beaumont Rag. This is off of his record California Autumn. Um, it's a really fun arrangement. It's a lot of fun to play. It's also pretty challenging. So there's a lot of stuff here for you to work on. Um, in addition, I do want to say that it's a huge honor to be able to do this. You know, Tony Rice uh, was such an influential musician, such a, you know, such an influential person, and he, uh, as you likely know, passed away a few months ago. Um, so it's a huge honor, a huge treat to be able to do this. He was big influence on me, big influence on many people. Um, so I hope you enjoy this too. I'm going to play through this uh, version of Beaumont Rag twice. I'm going to do it once at 110, which is um, a comfortable tempo for me, and then I'm going to slow it down and do it at 70 BPM so you can... Uh, you know, in case there's certain sections you need to workshop, you can uh, see that played at a slower tempo. So here we go. This is going to start at 110 BPM. Um, we're in the key of D, uh, capo, second fret. Out of, playing out of, of course, C position. So here we go. All right, there it is at 110. And now um, slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna take it much slower here at uh, 70 BPM. Okay, so there it is. Uh, as I mentioned before, there is a lot going on here. This is an advanced arrangement. Um, I can't really take the time to go through everything. You know, there are uh, up the neck jumps, like there's cross picking, uh, there are slurs, there's a rake. Uh, there's a lot of different things going on <laughs> so um, yeah so definitely uh, take some time and work through the transcription that you see um, in the magazine or if you're looking at it online the link should be below the video to see the tablature transcription um, but something I do want to talk about a little bit which you can find in that transcription is the pick directions um, so I like to play this using alternate picking which um, very, just kind of like a very brief overview means down strokes on down beats. So you use your pick down on a down stroke, you use your pick going up on an up stroke. Um, most, as far as I know, most modern flat pickers uh, typically will use alternate picking. Um, so if you do cross picking, which is, um, you know, playing, usually playing across three strings, like if we do the G, the B, and the E string. <laughs> I like to do that using alternate picking. So you get down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, same thing if you go in the other direction, E, B, G, I would do the same thing, down, up, down, up. 
Um, that's what feels natural to me. However, Tony Rice did not do it this way. Tony Rice had his own um, approach to pick direction. Um, it has its kind of own set of rules. And I learned a lot about it by trying to figure out the pick direction from the live video footage that I mentioned earlier. Um, so there's that live footage. I reviewed that to see uh, what Tony Rice used for pick directions, and those pick directions are in the transcription. So go ahead and you can pull it up and see what he did. I typically will recommend using alternating, but you know, that's up to you. So play around with what he did. So I mentioned those uh, cross picking passages a second ago. Um, what Tony Rice typically would do is do down, down, up. If he was going in this direction. If he was going in the other direction, he would do up, up, down. So down, down, up, 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 down. Um, whereas, just to reiterate, my way, uh, or, you know, not my way, <laughs> many people's way, uh, is to go alternating. Um, so, yeah, play around with pick directions if that's something you, you wish to do. You can find those in the transcription. Um, yeah, 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 this is, this is a great little tune. Um, I hope you have a lot of fun working this out. As I mentioned before, I just don't really have time to go through all the different, uh, the different techniques that are used. But yeah, go ahead and look at the slow version, work through it slowly. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, please, you know, feel free to get in touch. I'd love to uh, uh, help you out if there's anything specific you need some work on. So um, yeah, good luck. Thanks. <laughs>